Second is registration of web gate. Now let us log in to our OEM console. So my OM console is on, uh, it, it is not here, ah, yeah, it is here only. So if to launch OM console, you have to go to OM training uh, dot 7001 slash OM console. This is the central, uh, central console, main console, which is used to manage everything for OM. You log in with your admin user here. So uh, the user is a WebLogic user or Excelsys it, admin or something? No, no, it's a WebLogic user. Excelsys ADM is for OIM. OIM, okay. Okay. So this is the OIM console where, uh, where we are going to perform all the admin activities related to OIM. Let us have an overview of this. <clears throat> there are two major tabs here. One is policy configuration and other is system configurations. Okay. In policy configurations, we have shared components. So resource types, host identifiers and authentication schemes are shared resources. Shared resource, it means it is shared by all the runtime OEM servers. So even if it, if one server goes down, so other server should have information of all the resources and policies which are available. So by resources, we mean uh, uh, which can be accessed over HTTP protocol. So it has two more resources, which are token service RP and WL authentic authent. Okay, this token service RP is mostly used for federation, uh, sending the token to token relaying parties or service providers and WL authentication are for authentication policies okay so we are not going to use these two uh, resources for us resources are which are accessed over HTTP protocol like the URIs which we are trying to access okay. host identifier we are going to see when once we create a web gate it is basically a logical uh, I won't say logical uh, a variable I would say uh, like like you are trying to access a website, uh, you might be having there are there might be number of ways where you can in which you can access the website. Okay. By number of ways, I mean the URLs. It might be like uh, Cerberus.com. It might be like cerberusinternalcom slash index.php. It makes sense. One is big IP URL and other might be an OHS URL with a different port number. So we have to add all the all those things in the host identifier in the way which we are trying to access the website. Okay. So once we create a web gate, uh, automatically one host identifier will get created here. Uh, 